much of an influence um, being uh, in, in Kentucky uh, has been for me. Obviously, personally, I have so many memories and wonderful strengths because of where I come from. Musically, though, it, it really defines my sound. I mean, I don't know if someone from California or New York would be able to take to say, yo ho. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They wouldn't. So I took that, you know, I think it was my um, Aunt Pauline. She was so country. I mean, she literally died without uh, running water. And, um, and Louisa, which is where my, my dad was born. <laughs> Time I think about Elisa, I used to spend every summer there, and we would literally go out and play Ashley and I until we had those dirt rings around the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were sweaty and hot and just exhilarated. That kind of tired when you come in at the end of the day, you're just so grateful, um, and you just fall asleep. And uh, I just miss that. You know, I have pictures, I have uh, those memories of just being. You know, kid, and realizing that we had the greatest, that we had nothing, that we had the grace of everything, because everything mattered, everything was important, you know, every single bite of the meal that she made. Talk about meat three, there were two meats and six vegetables. There were things from the garden that, you know, we just took for granted um, and didn't realize how precious those portions were. And now, sometimes I'll be in, you know, Holly Weird. And I will think about and literally dream about those days of um, Uncle Ann and Aunt Pauline serving supper. Um, around 4 o'clock, I think it was, 3, 4 o'clock. That's, people don't understand that. You know, it's not dinner, it's not 7, 8 o'clock, it's 4 o'clock. It's his farmer. And so I'm so grateful for my upbringing because we had space and time. We called, we called them crawl days. We would catch them, and our goal was to not get pinched, so you had to pitch back here at the end, right? I mean, seriously, people, you know, we went from welfare to millionaire. I'm grateful for my success. But what defined us were those moments when Ashley and I, in matching clothes, because my grandmother was pretty wild about that idea, and Ashley was pissed because she had to wear two of everything. Hers <laughs> and mine. <laughs> seriously, and now that's why she gets, you know, Valentino and all these people to bring her all these free clothes, because she's like, I am not wearing my, the handy notes anymore. <laughs> it's funny how that defines your idea of success. That to her is success. Mine is having a refrigerator full. And I'm um, serious, we couldn't shop it, but every day we didn't have room to store. You couldn't buy in bulk. What the heck is Walmart thinking? Again, it was bigger, better, faster, more to them. But to me, we had the fridge where you had the two um, trays of ice, and you had the fold down handle, and you shop. I shopped every day. What my mom didn't know is it took food back every other day to store up for skating that weekend. <laughs> I was running a, a little scam. <laughs> She'd be like, where's this box of ice? I need for the chicken continental. And I'd say, oh, I don't know. Actually, I, you know, put butter and sugar on it. It's gone. Really? Dollar ninety-nine in the pocket, baby. <laughs> I'm fascinated by this story. Very nice that's happening today. And uh, we're very, in our hearts, very close to the military and a lot of the movement this year. We actually have a song that's nominated for an Oscar, right? We have Ryan Knight that's from a military film called The Wonder So we always are trying to find ways, and I know having Pete out here, of course, the politician you know, tonight, I'm sure you have to see some of what. Plus, he's hard. Maybe he'll make it someday. He's so not attractive. It's really sad. <laughs> 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 Not literally. They live on the 
property with me and I've recreated the, the dream. Um, but we do a lot of work with the military and I've almost been in three major knockdown drag outs and I've been over um, people's um, opinions. I don't do politics and I don't do it on my side for a reason because um, I'm you know, related to Naomi and Ashley. <laughs> you learn the hard way of what not to talk about at Thanksgiving. But I will tell you I'm passionate about uh, the Red, White, and Blue to the point of, um, yeah, I'm willing to go back to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 